What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. I'm Ruggle, here with Sig. And again, with a long, long time being gone for two weeks, but we have another episode and some more fun to talk about and argue about, probably. This is all we tend to do, is argue and bicker back and forth. But that's how we were raised. That's how we were raised. We were raised to raised to bicker. At least I was. All right, you have listen, siblings. You have listen. to be born. Be born in siblings. Place. Yes, but not with anybody else. Siblings were the only ones you were allowed to bicker with. You try bicker with your parents. They'd shut up, know your rule, and go the fuck to bed. I'm pretty sure my dad probably coined all the rocks phrases before the rock even said them. I'm, I'm almost like, I, I will go on record that my dad has probably said, shut up and know your role in this house <laughs> well before The Rock has ever said it. That's funny, because a lot of stuff my dad wouldn't be TV, wouldn't be able to be on TV for everything he told me. He would say to me sometimes. I think by the time he got to the two of us, the last two kids, he was, he was at the point. But I heard a lot of swear words that was followed up by... Don't tell your mom. <laughs> what does fuck mean? <laughs> not a word you say. Yes. And now I'm over here going, listening to my kids just randomly go, fuck. what happened? <laughs> All right, just remember, not at school. In the house is fine. Not at school. Or Nana's. Eh, that's okay. You know, Nana's fine. I don't care. Not at school. Do you know what your son said? Yes, I told him he could say it. I'm fully nope. aware. No problem. <laughs> no problem at all. I will be that parent that the kids will the kids will definitely be playful and just be like, fuck you, dad, and walk by. I'm like, huh, all right. I'm gonna get you back, don't worry. Wanna play games? Let's play games. Speaking of growing up, I know we had a subject that we tried to have an episode on. Recorded three times. Four. Yes. Total clusterfuck. And I had problems, you had problems, problems were everywhere. So we decided to shit can it and try it again another night. They, yeah, it was definitely like, you know, cocaine being distributed everywhere. It was just fucking just horrible time. But everybody, it didn't work. My internet didn't wasn't work. happy. My internet, internet wasn't happy. happy. Computer, Discord, our mics. <laughs> headphones oh my god just that was probably the biggest clusterfuck the point like i think we tried for 30 minutes and we finally just said you know what fuck it we ain't recording let's just i'll see you thursday see you yep. thursday <laughs> fuck this fuck that fuck everything i will see you on thursday night exactly what it was that's how you tell this is your this is <laughs> yeah but it was your topic that you wanted to do so i'll let you Segue us into it. Or what? What a pansy ass bitch move! Your I topics, know. I will segue into them. Let's be real. I'm the to I'm the talker. I don't. Yes, that's fair. We, I'm, if anybody that's listening to the show knows you're the talker. They're like, this is an hour long episode, and Sig has talked for fifty seven minutes. <laughs> Roggles has talked for like twenty. Does Sig breathe? No. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't. There's no breathing. No, there's no breathing. Contrary to being fat, you can never hear me breathe. I breathe through my eyeballs. Do it right now, you can't even tell. But, yeah. Fucking weird. Anyway, <laughs> the subject that we were trying to cover weeks ago at this point was, uh, it was popular then, or it was an ongoing subject across social media, relate to the game, say la vie, whatever. That's French. Anyways, <laughs> the subject at hand was <laughs> shut up. I'm trying to do the fucking intro, okay? We'll get there. <laughs> We're five minutes into this song, bitch. Wait. The subject matter was signs of wealth upon growing up. And basically, how this all started was a bunch of videos, shorts, reels, TikTok videos, all of it. There was a big discussion, mostly around millennials and Gen Xers saying like this is 
this is why we thought our friends were wealthy when in fact they they weren't rich they weren't wealthy it would be like for example having a second refrigerator one that was in like your garage typically full of your dad's beer our case beer and whatever my dad killed that season typically deer or pheasant so process meat but that was deemed a sign of wealth and a lot of people are like oh my god you have two fridges yeah or a trampoline <laughs> you had a trampoline you were deemed well off so hey, we try to record this we got 30 minutes into it and just shit the bed just worse than a, a newborn with explosive diarrhea and someone who has cleaned up two rooms multiple times this is that bad so i already said one for me but definitely a, a second fridge which was typically your original fridge that now got replaced and just put out to the the garage your new fridge stayed inside yeah and that and i, I remember also we talked i talked about how we have basically been able to see the progression of a lot of things that have shaped. Oh, that's right. This man is still old. Well. This man is still yeah. old. <laughs> yeah. So back, yes, back in the 1900s when everything was going on. <laughs> the late 1900s. <laughs> it's still the 1900s. It's the turn of the centuries. <laughs> turn of the millennia. We've seen, we got to see the introduction of I mean, cell phones, internet, and multiple Glo other things global that one, global internet internet technically been around for a while global internet but it's we've seen it shape everything we've learned to hate a lot of it because of how it's shaped society changed society and made people rely on multiple different things and can't keep their face out of their phones and everything else but i'm guilty of it too so it is what it is but growing up like that the the fridge the fridge in the garage a joke <laughs> funny if i keep talking you just start shaking and shit like i gotta i gotta speak speak gotta talk like i should do something <laughs> you want to see the video edition head over to patreon.com forward slash two guys when you I gotta let it out speak bitch <laughs> <laughs> Wait, my turn. We... So, man, our show of wealth, like going from the fridge to that, cordless, uh, cordless phones was a big one as well, where you were not stuck to the wall or didn't have the 50 foot spiral cord that would wrap around. That the alone was an upgrade. Table and everything else. From like the three Ooh. foot three foot spring cord to like the six foot, 10 foot, 20, 30. Like, yes, I can go all the way to the top of the stair. No, back, you. Did you get the receiver? <laughs> and that was receiver one. Receiver is where you hung it up you, on. Just... Once you got the cordless, it wasn't a problem. The only thing that became a problem is when you were talking on it and you set it down, forgot where the hell you put it. Because it wasn't until a few years later that they put the page buttons on or find button to where it's like, if you did set it down, you know where it was at. So like okay where the hell did i put it if, if you had one if you had one mm -hmm. yes the problem when you had two was talking and then all hearing all of a sudden hearing you're like hold on shh don't talk i hear somebody breathing on the line somebody breathing hey on the phone it's my turn <laughs> you got you got really paranoid i think honestly I think that's why most of us, like Gen X, millennia people who are like, I hear something because we're all used to the wireless phone days of just hearing our brother or sister breathing in the phone or trying not to breathe. And you just hear the nostrils. Of... <laughs> but also, you? the the funny thing is, is the, the gesture that you're making of your thumb and pinky to talk on the phone. That's another thing of how you talk on the phone, your thumb and pinky, ear to mouth. Other people have this the shit the oh brick. the brick the hand or whatever like oh like this like no stupid it's this this, this how you is how i know the same way this is how i know i'm raising my kids right because they know this means phone 
They know this is phone. This is how we talk on the phone. We don't talk on the phone yeah. like this. We talk on the phone like this because mm-hmm. we don't ever talk on the phone like this. Even like rare random chance. If I have to call like you or Lane or any of my other buddies, call me. I play. I pick up my phone. I go, oh, answer speaker. I just sit down. Mm-hmm. Okay. Unless I'm in the bathroom. And then I'm like, oh, hold on. It's mute. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Uh, hold it in. Yeah, that sounds really bad. No, tell me more. Mute. Ugh. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Don't act like you guys haven't done it. You're not better than me. But at the same time with the whole phone thing was also when we had internet, dial-up internet, took your phone away so you could not talk on the phone. You always got the busy signals. And then if you're trying to do gaming online of any kind or just looking at the internet, period, you're in the middle of a download of something you probably shouldn't be downloading, and all of a sudden it stops. you, LimeWire. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and you go out there and mom or dad or your sister or somebody picked up the phone. Like, well, I was on the damn internet. What the hell? Uh, especially if you had like, like we, ha- I had, f- I have four siblings. Second youngest. Especially if like one of my older siblings, like my oldest brother wanted to talk to his latest girlfriend and I was playing, you know, uh, Space Cadet Pinball. Mm-hmm. I need download something or downloading something on LimeWire while I'm playing. All of a sudden just be connected and be like, what the fuck? Hey, are you on the phone? Yeah. I had to call Julie. Shut up. This is more important. I would beg to differ. Me downloading 50 Cent on LimeWire, maybe downloading it. Yes. It have been something else. God knows. It was definitely a virus. Like 60% yes, of the time it was a virus. That would piss me off. The, I, I will say this, and I cracked this joke a long time ago. It was well received by the guys, not so much by the girls. Anyways, the <laughs> joke of it is just because we're we're talking about DSL, which is very, 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 very slow, god awful, painful internet connection with a loud screech. Anyways, I made the joke of DSL is the reason why so many Gen X and Millennials may have like ED or finish so quick is because DSL gave you that three seconds, that ten seconds, that fifteen seconds. A video play, you're like, oh shit, it's gonna take another 45 minutes for the rest of this to download. I'll take what I can get here. And it's just, bah, 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 bah. oh, yes, I'm done. And if, if you found a free, uh, somehow found a free site, mm-hmm. or just, you know, Girls Gone Wild, and you're like, it's good enough. Girls Gone Wild. They got sued. No surprise, but they definitely yes. got sued. I saw yes. that. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. But I'm trying to think of like other things that would uh, set apart or set, show that you had money back in the day. I mean, our cell phones were the bag phones. Bag phones. Kind of you, the next thing. If you had a bag phone or like an actual car phone, mm-hmm. you like you didn't just you weren't just wealthy. You were legitimately rich. One, because those fuckers were expensive as shit. They were. And they were heavy as hell. Ooh. And they always went in your non-dominant hand. Or in your smoker hand. Yes, back when the cars had lighters and ashtrays, though. My car has an ashtray and a lighter. The 2013. That's a lighter and an ashtray? Really? I don't think it's supposed to be an ashtray. (laughs) Maybe it's not an ashtray. (laughs) It looks like an ashtray, but it may be like a coin thing. But it looks just like the old school... Would you have a cigarette lighter in it? Yeah. And my 20 volt. Yeah. My kids played with it. I said, don't push that in. Touch it. Why? It's going to be hot as hell. No. I was like, have you seen Goofy movie? Yeah. You remember how they ate alphabet (laughs) soup? Yep. That bitch will burn you. No, it weren't. Pushed it in. Pulled it out and let them just hover their hand over it like a centimeter above. That's hot. Yeah. No shit. We used to burn each other with these. Pop it in, pull it out, catch! I wonder why we're all stupid. Strong survived. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) That was was one. 
right. So, I mean, trampolines, I like I said before, the outside fridge, uh, privacy fence was a big one in like the later, like early 2000. Uh, I don't remember seeing a lot of people with privacy fence in the 90s a whole lot, or even 80s. No I wasn't around in the 80s. Nobody cared about their privacy back then. Oh yeah, it was all free love and dippy dippy. Um, we're, we're running through your yard at that point too. Yeah. Gets where we need to be. If it's a privacy fence, you're an asshole. So we jumped it. I feel like trying to jump this one. <laughs> I've seen people try. I've seen me try actually. It did not work very well. Lots of splinters. Um, so yeah, privacy fence, uh, cell phones, trampolines, home computer was a big one too. Like if you had a home computer, you yeah. were deemed well off. Uh, if you had any type of video camera and while well, people are like, oh, video cameras weren't big. No, video cameras were like the size of a PC tower nowadays. They were fucking huge, monstrous, heavy shits. I was never allowed to touch my dad's. Uh, well, they would, well, back then, I mean, they would hold a VHS tape in them. Oh yeah, they would hold a legit they, VHS. Before, yeah. Before they got smaller. Or well, they also had the they also had the film ones, like the legit film. Yeah. But that's like well before both of our times. Yes. Before like the high eights and all that stuff came out. Before the what? With digital high eight. Okay. All those. Which, what do you think I said? Before all the aids. I was like, what oh, for, the fuck is that? Before the AIDS kicked off and killed all the cameras. Like, where are we going with this? <laughs> High AIDS. Yeah. Back when the outbreak happened. Back in the day, in the, the late 1900s. <laughs> Bad case of the AIDS kicking off. If you had a CD deck player or CD player, Walkman. <laughs> There was a point in time where like those were still like forty, fifty dollars, and people were like, mm. especially once anti skip came in, which never fucking worked. Never worked. It, it, it was hit or miss. I mean, if you're trying to run with a CD player, you're an idiot, anyways. And I saw plenty of people trying to go on runs and whatnot with their CD player on their hip, like you're stupid. It's not gonna work. Now in my in like in the car when we had like the cassette adapter, yeah. we put in a cassette player. You have your CD yeah. player there, your walker, whatever there. And that evolved into the phone jack for the aux yes. adapter. Yeah. I still have one of those. The aux adapters? Yeah. Oh, yes. My my uh, 2000 Tinny launcher that we just got rid of, okay. that one did not have, it had a Sirius XM in it, didn't use it, but it had no, it had no Bluetooth. I know I could still use it too, like, I did not have a subscription, but I was able to listen to everything. Hmm. So long road trips, especially when I was making trips to and from uh, Manhattan and Wichita, I would I would use Sirius XM. Uh, but anyways, I yeah, I had the light, the not lightning, the cigarette lighter plug in and then I would plug the ox into my phone and like and then I would have my little USB cord plugged in to charge my phone. Yeah. So fucking old. This episode's yeah. bad. <laughs> welcome yeah. to welcome to story time with Gramps. <laughs> welcome to why I hate my life. So <laughs> welcome to why my lower back actually hurts and my knees are replaceable. <laughs> uh <laughs> trying to think because like I know computers were a big thing. Like we we were I guess upper lit lower class. We were a military family, so we did not have a lot of money by any means. Uh, like when I say military, I mean like E four, E five, E six, E seven. Uh, which are changing the pay structure, by the way. Anyways, where was I going? Oh, we weren't the rich. We weren't wealthy by any means, but we had a computer before like the legitimately wealthy people in our town did, because my dad oh. saved up for months and months and. That's why he was also very, very pissed off for months and months when he's like, you downloaded a virus? What's a virus? No, no, I downloaded Eminem, <laughs> whatever song I wanted. I downloaded this. No, that's a fucking virus. Okay. <laughs> cool. I don't know what you mean. There's no song it's, called virus. 
I didn't download this that. means nothing. <laughs> this definitely said Rihanna. And I downloaded it. Just try and get the latest not. Garth Brooks song. Because I'm thinking more like our childhood, like when we were, like toy wise, like the big toys back then. Nintendo, like Super Turtles. Nintendo. I was like toys, like action figures, stuff like that uh, before we. Before. Max Payne. Nintendo came out. Uh. G.I. Joe. Never got a G.I. Joe's, but I know we had one like art, like micro machines for one that like. Oh, yeah. You could get a shit ton of those. But like my mom, my mom actually worked at Walmart, so I was able to, and she would lay away everything. That's also something that that people don't truly appreciate. And I got taken advantage of way too much. That was like. A damn near perfect system. And for people who somehow don't understand what layaway is or know what it is because you're too young or you had money, disposable money at all times. You just pay for stuff right there. Good fucking job. <laughs> we have money. Layaway was a program where you basically could, or not basically, you would put, say, a computer on layaway and you would pay it off over a set amount of time, like credit card payments. But it was no interest. So if it was a hundred dollar system, you probably paid it off in four months at twenty five dollars. So and you had to put money down typically too. Yeah, but you didn't get the item until it was no. paid off. No. So that was the big thing too, is that you would put it there. But I think also if you did not you had an unlimited amount of time, but you had to you had to make a, at least a dollar keep up payment. With payments. Yeah, you had to pe- keep up with payments or make a payment yeah. to keep it in layaway. So that's that was one big thing how we got a lot of the stuff that we had because she worked there, got a discount, and then also would have able to layaway and shit like that. So, like, big thing for us was like when Battle Trolls came out. I don't know if you remember Battle Trolls at all, but the troll dolls. Oh, yes. They became, <laughs> they became cool because they were, they could, they were cooler looking. Uh, that was a big one. Fucking Barbies. And then, uh, you remember the Talk Boy from Home Alone? Home Alone 2? Yeah. The cassette recorder? Yeah. So I had one, I got one of those for Christmas, and that was the biggest thing at that time that we tried to get. And I had gotten one, is because we wanted to, like, mess with people so you record it and you could slow it down, yeah. speed it up, or whatever. So we had that thing, and we used the shit out of it. Only, only one that had one. And that thing was used and abused like crazy. Yeah. In school and everywhere else. Mostly in but school, let's be real. Yeah, it was. It was, it was used and abused in school. Had a lot of fun with that thing. But yeah, when the, when the consoles and stuff started to come out, that's when you really started to see who had who had the money because of the games they would get. Yeah. And well, not just what games, games, yeah, the quantity of the games and the quantity yes. of the controllers, because those things were if not you cheap. Had that the power glove, you had the power glove, you had money. You were a douche. You had disposable income. <laughs> yes, but you had money if you had the power glove. It was one jokes thing on that, you. Did not last very long. Now did it? But you also wanted it the entire time. Hey, the hey, night. hey, that's that is literally neither here nor there. It still didn't last very long. It was, it died fairly quick. Yes. No, uh, okay. A proper boombox with dual cassette docking stations. And if you know, you know why. Like, you you understand this. The amount of times for you younger whippersnappers, if the way like we often got songs was listening to the radio and then going, okay, just, oh, this is a good song. Record and play. Yeah. And then you'd hope the DJ didn't fucking cut it short. And you could also call and request songs. You mean a tip too? Like, yeah, you can call and request them and they're like, okay, yeah, so we've got within the hour. Okay, so I have to sit here and listen to it. Sometimes they announce it, sometimes they don't. You yeah. gotta be able to, so you're like, okay, come back from a commercial. You hold the pause button, ready to ready to hit it, so it starts recording. So yeah, it's there's been so many times tough. where I've just recorded for like twenty minutes, like it's fine. 
I'll record over the other stuff later. <laughs> and then get pissed off two weeks later when I finally use the cassette up. I'm like, I'm gonna listen to it. I interrupted my own song. <laughs> Damn it. I was so close to listening all of Pour Some Sugar on me, and now, none of it. <laughs> Yes, with the with the dual decks at that point, that's when we'd have people who would buy cassettes, and then everybody else would pay like a dollar or bring their own cassette to burn it, Oops. or to record it on another one. Record it on that came cassette. later. You could have it. Yes, <laughs> you would burn CDs, but then you would just uh, record the tape to tape, and it didn't sound cool. It didn't transfer always the best, but no. you had the songs you needed. Speaking of burning discs, because again, we've been very lucky to have seen the massive evolution of the technology boom. And I've had discussions like this before with like aunts and uncles years ago, where they're like, oh, you don't understand how big of an importance sonar was. Like, no, no, no. You guys don't realize in our, in like my timeline alone, my short years, I have seen the revolution of a computer go from uh, floppy disk to hard disk to, or not floppy disk, uh, yeah, floppy disk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's the big ones? They're floppies. They're still floppies, so okay. The actual mm -hmm. floppy ones, the hard disk, the CD, and then to hard drives, mm -hmm. internalized hard drives of actual component uh, capacity to fix to external hard drives, to thumb drives, to jump drives. Like we got to see all of that and it's still growing so much now to the point of, I was just reading an article and one of the tech reports where it's talking about uh, CDs are going to make a comeback for the pure fact that they have figured out a way to put a petabyte of data on, and in case anybody wouldn't, that's above a Tetra byte. So 126,000 terabytes equals a petabyte. And anyway, they have figured out how to do this on a CD. So what normally would take a server room, they have now figured out how to go on a microscopic level to do this. And they have successfully done this over 30 times. And it should, in theory, based on the scientists' calculations, and shit, it should be rolling up by 2030. It'll probably be hella expensive, because it has to be a specific type of CD with uh, specialized gloss and finish and component structure. So where the laser can get into it properly without uh, fuddling up the data. So you also need likely a stronger laser that can go on a microscopic level. So, saw that. I was like, that is so fucking cool to go from a, here's an 8-bit <laughs> Or eight my you like CD. <laughs> How many songs have you got in there? Ten. Mm -hmm. So now I can put a whole fucking collection and still have room. So on a CD. So like well, yes, it makes me feel old. I know it makes you feel old because you got me beat by six years. Well what's that? Oh, your index finger? That's so rude. Uh <laughs> Be a bitch. It's the middle one. <laughs> it's the birdie that goes tweet tweet. Uh, but it's interesting, especially having kids, uh, because my daughter is at the point where she's asking all about this type of stuff. What TV shows did you watch when I was your when you were my age? I did it. Or AFN. What? Armed <laughs> Forces Network. And it wasn't even called AFN back then. It was something else. So, yeah. I gotta watch that. And all my cartoons were from like 10 years, 15 years prior to. So I got to watch a bunch of 80s stuff and 70s stuff. Not be up to date on 90s until I got back in the States. But she was, she's so blown away by how our technology was. I mean, saying you guys don't understand how lucky you guys are to literally have information at your fingertips. And you don't understand what it's like to have to watch a commercial. Now they're starting yeah. to do it because we're starting to change our streaming plans to go to like commercial versions because it is astronomically cheaper. 
And honestly, it gives me a chance to go. Okay, commercial break. I'm gonna go pee. I'm gonna go make some food. They're like 90 minutes or 90 seconds long. Not 90 minutes, 90 seconds. I don't care. I see they still piss me off. Oh that... I got so I got so used to it and now I get fucking mad. I walk away. Like, it does no, not I'm, bother me. I'm, I'm into this, I'm into the show. I'm like, I don't want to fucking add right now. I'm laying here in bed watching this. I can't handle this shit. Okay, fine. You get five extra dollars, so I gotta see this shit more. I will I will say with the the only exception like it makes me mad on is like Hulu because the commercials don't line up with the commercial spots. So for example, if I'm watching like next level chef, it will play, play, and all of a sudden it will go to black screen for like a split second, and then the playback will come back on. And then it's 30 seconds after the playback comes on. It's like, oh, commercial time. You stupid fucking bitch. They literally tell you when the commercial's gonna happen. It's right there. Like that annoys me. So Hulu, I I I have not gone to the I have not gone to the commercial version. But I do watch a lot of Hulu for like my wrestling stuff and box stuff. But uh, like Peacock and Paramount, and I get Max for free actually. So Peacock and Paramount, it's the base version with ads, and it's hilarious because for uh, TV shows, it will play a sixty second ad, I think it is, and you can watch an hour's worth of TV uninterrupted. A movie will play a hundred and eighty second ad, and then you get to watch your movie for however long it is. And it, I enjoy that a lot more because typically when I do the movie or when I'm like watching a movie, I'll be like, oh, like last night we watched Wonka. I'll be like, oh, let's watch Wonka. And I'll sign going, I'm kind of hungry. You want some popcorn? <laughs> I will make us some popcorn. And I don't make microwave popcorn. I do stove. I don't, I make stove top with like the kernels and the oil. I make it. So getting that 180 second ad. It's like, yes, fine. I gotta go do this. Let me let me go take care of everything I should have taken care of before we did this. But now I get to do it because it's going, dumbass, here's your chance. Last time. And then there's no more ads the entire time. I find it useful. I enjoy it. Now when my kids see this ad on like Paramount, because my daughter I'm very happy that both my kids are getting into the older cartoons. But my daughter is really big on Fairly Odd Parents right now. Uh not to watch with me. Neither one of these kids want to watch this shit with me. My son doesn't want to watch the original Power Rangers with me, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with me. Nope. These are his cartoons, and I can go fuck off. But <laughs> my my daughter is watching Fairly Odd Parents, and of course I'm quoting a lot of Cosmo's lines because I watch way too much of it. And not even a kid at that time, by the way. It's just neither here nor there. But watching it and they played an ad and she's like what is this uh i was watching that oh yeah you're like you watch three episodes or four episodes in a row like it's it's gonna play a short little ad uh but then other times barbie comes on Polly pocket comes on whatever she yeah i want that no <laughs> why not you don't need it but i want it all right make you a deal and it's the same deal every time by the way Make you deal. Go through your room and get rid of half of your toys. Oh fuck. Yeah. And they just go, okay. And they'll start and sometimes, not all the times. Sometimes, if she really wants it, she will go through her toys. Granted, it only lasts for like five minutes. This is hard. I don't want to do this anymore. All right, well, you don't get that that whatever Barbie doll thing is. No, nope, you don't get that toy. You don't get that slime. You don't get that Play-Doh. You don't get those coloring, that art kick, whatever. Sorry. Oh, that's not fair. You got money? No, I haven't done chores at Nana's house. Because we don't pay them allowance. But my mother-in-law does it when they do chores. It's whatever. Don't yeah, ask. My, my, my <laughs> son is that way. Like He's like, oh, this is hard. I don't want to do it. My daughter, on the other hand, you say that she, if she can get something, if she, you know, cleans up her room and just throws away shit that she doesn't need anymore. In her head, she hears throw away shit that you don't need or want anymore. She missed the whole clean up, pick up any of your stuff. She'll come down with two trash bags full 
of everything that was on our floor. And I'm pretty sure if our dog was up there, being the damn bag as well. He's here. She's just like, I don't, I don't care. I don't, I don't want it anymore. Throw it away. Like we just bought you. Like there's a brand new coat in here. I don't care. I don't need it. I need new stuff. I'm like, oh, back to this shit up here. You're throwing everything away that you don't want. No, I don't need it. I'm good. Okay, I, I like that you are easily to get rid of stuff, but I don't like the fact you're throwing away you're brand pissing new me stuff. off. I can't be mad at you properly. Because I like that you clean your room and get rid of stuff, but you're getting rid of everything. We literally just bought you stuff. Yeah. Like, it's, it, it's calm down. See, we... So, we, okay, when I say get rid of or throw away, I don't necessarily mean, like, actual trash, unless it's broken, absolutely. I will take it to... Uh, a drop-off center basically where other people can use or post up on facebook i won't go to goodwill look i got an itch up my butt like a month ago and we went through and we cleaned all their rooms i shouldn't say all there's only two of them we cleaned both their rooms to consolidate the beds into one room and to have a giant playroom for them anyways we did this and i have bags upon bags upon bags of trash bags by the way of toys that they don't play with anymore. And I great thing about ADHD fixation is I got it done. They kind of sort of were useless and not helpful in it, but they helped to a degree. And I got the itch in my butt. I was like, you know what? I'm so sick of taking shit to Goodwill. Yes, I get a tax right off, but these motherfuckers are taking this free item <laughs> and charging for it. And not like mm-hmm. Not even like it used to be where it was legitimately meant for people struggling. So here's a t-shirt for 25 cents or 50 cents. It's here's a Nike t-shirt, $30. Bitch, I paid $30 for that when it was brand new. You ain't selling it for $30. Yeah. So I've I've sworn off Goodwill or dropped anything off that Goodwill just because it's a matter of principle. Somebody's making shit money off my shit. And these kids have ruined me. Now I have the moral compass of going, oh, there's somebody else who could use this, especially with my daughter going to school and seeing some of these children and their parents going, you could use this. Yep. I should not just throw this away. So I post up on Facebook. Here's free shit. Toys, clothes, whatever. Come get it. I'll meet you up. Done. Even the school takes clothes. I don't know if your your guys do that. But our like school our school has a clothes program where it's the nurse takes them technically. And yeah. she uses them for accidents. So if a kid pees their pants mm. or spills something, then they have spare clothes. But any clothes that like if a family reaches out and says, Hey, you know, we don't have winter coats, um, please don't let my son play outside this uh, this winter or don't let my daughter, whatever. Then the school will also be like, hey, here's a used coat that somebody left and lost and found last year or here's a coat that was donated and they just keep on them so where it gets it gets used for a proper and legitimately good reason. So I was like, eh, okay, we'll do that. I don't care about the tax write-off. The whopping $2 yeah. I'll get back. I throw shit away. I don't care. I get tired of seeing it. I always get the, I want to sell this. Okay, cool. No. Sat in the garage for a year and a half. Okay, I'm throwing it away. It's gone. And then they they will box stuff up, put it in the garage. Like, oh, I want this again. Really? You didn't touch it for eight months. You didn't forget you were, you had it. You don't need it. Get rid of it. You know Story how? Story of my life right now. You know how they fix that with me? Because at our last house, we did have a garage, and that's exactly what we did. Uh, now my office is that garage, so I see it right over there every day. I see the the bags. I'm just like, I should probably get rid of that. All right, and it's just waiting for the ADHD kick to come in. And then, literally for two days, I'll go through. I'll get rid of a bunch of stuff. And then my wife's like, "Did you double check? Nope. Sure did it. I don't know if there's matching socks. I don't know if there's matching shoes in there. If they don't need them, they'll get rid of them." Not my problem anymore. I did a good deed. I, put, I get karma justice for it. I'm God. <laughs> I'm good at this point. I'm solid. I put it in the uh, in the green those green clothes bins. I've done that stuff before. Like the clothes yeah. clothes, yeah. I'll, I'll go and I'll, I'll put them in that bin. Toys, fuck, trash. I don't care. 
our bins are yellow. That's only important where I can say it. Mm. We, we, in our town, we used to have probably like a dozen of those. And again, Manhattan's not a big town. We used to have a dozen of those. In the last four or five years, we've dwindled down to three. Three that I can find easily. Okay. It used to be by the two Dillons. It used to be by Walmart, which is also by Dillons. Uh, used to be one by Target. It used to be by uh, Quick Shop, uh, Cessna, Cessnex, whatever gas station. Um, don't fucking, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it. I don't shop there. Uh, Hy-Vee, there was one by 7, not 7-Eleven. Um, is a food shop, 7-something. It's not there anymore. It closed because of COVID. But basically, they were scattered throughout, and you could go in and literally get clothes if you needed to. The bin stayed open, and they would collect them once a week. So now there's three. There's one by Goodwill, which is ironic. I think that's bad placement, just saying. Uh, and then there's one by Dylan's on my side, and there's one by McDonald's on the other side. Mm-hmm. That's it. And I'm sure there's maybe more, but since I DoorDash, I don't see them. And they're bright fucking yellow, too. So it's not like you miss them. Like green. Green I would miss. Look at that big-ass boxy bush. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, it's it's different because, like, when we, we were young, you could see it's, it was kind of easier to tell who had money. And I guess you could, it's... Oh, close. Yeah. Like, are my kids are my kids able to tell that now? Of like, who has money and who doesn't? I guess you can. I think shoes. You can tell shoes which shoes. One, yeah. And when you get to like the teenage years, purses and handbags, sure. Maybe like skirts and dresses. But unless jeans, I don't know. I. I don't see, even in college town, I don't see a lot of college kids wearing name brand. Granted, I'm also very, like, disconnected with fashion. Now, back when I was in high school, I did have high-end jeans that I paid for. I did have the high-end t-shirt. I was a douche canoe. Oh. I was glitzed up. I, yeah, I was. I had all the name jeans. I had the crosses on my ass cheeks. Sure, you know which oh, jean company I'm talking it's, about. It's it's flopped at that point too because I remember you could get Champion at Walmart and everything else, but now Champion is a high dollar brand now. For real, and which is ridiculous. Reebok used to be a low end company too. Yes, and, and they're, they're both they're now. now as well. Yep. And Ch- Champion is is now blown up, and it's because yep. yeah, you used to, be able to get Champion at Walmart, and because like that's that's where I got majority of my clothes. Like I said, my mom worked there, so that's where I got majority of them. And that's what helped me run faster too, because our shoes are like ninety fucking pounds. It's made out of bricks, heaviest fucking shoes I ever had. I mean, if you wanted basketball shoes, all you could get was the shacks. Yeah, and that's that's all kind you could get there. Yeah, I mean, I think nowadays shoes, honestly, but like I driving around town and seeing all these, I can't even call them kids. Seeing these college. No, they're kids. College kids walking around. I'm just like, those are just basic ass blue jeans. Like more and more people shop at Target now. Mm-hmm. I, I think more people have came to realize, fuck Walmart. That place is hell. So many people. And the smell has not changed. As someone who used to work there, the smell has not changed. No. Cat piss and cigarette. Whoever, by the way, if you're one of those people, water exists. Take a motherfucking shower and a bath with some bleach. Because, my God, <laughs> my God, the amount of people, like, we only go during like Christmas time for presents. And that's if they have a good deal. The amount of people I will walk by and be like, you smell. Like a combination of beer, cat piss, and cigarette smoke. And by cigarette smoke, I mean the cheap, cheap fucking cigarettes. And if you used to smoke, you know there's a fine difference between like marble, marble, and camel crush, for example. There was a higher pedigree. 
but just the fact that's still there. I I can look at these these kids during pickup, and like they're all wearing basically the same thing. No one's no one is easily identified as oh you may have money, except for this one girl in my daughter's grade. She walked in with a Stanley Cup oh, gosh. and a a purse. It was a I, is it Gucci? Is that the double G's? Yeah. And she walked in with double G, so Gucci bags. Like handbag type thing. She's six, seven years old. And like this girl has more money on her than probably what's inside my my office alone. We've determined the most expensive thing we own outside of the cart is my this office, everything in this office. Fucked up. My my daughter has a Stanley Cup. She got it for her birthday though. Why? She no, I, I we'll have this discussion. <laughs> I Why? have no idea. Why? I want somebody. If you're listening, and you have a motherfucking Stanley Cup. Come on the show, please. I'm not gonna harass you. I'll be nice. I will. I will hear you out. I will criticize, but I will hear you out. I want to know what's so fucking good because everybody's like, well, it keeps the water water really cold, or it keeps my drink really hot. You know what else does that? Hermits. I have cups that are like 10, 15, 20 years old that still keep my shit hot and cold for hours. And if you're holding on to hot coffee, by the way, for more than three hours, you don't like coffee. Stop drinking it. <laughs> that, I don't know why that became a pet peeve of mine, but fucking working at at t specifically, the women I worked with would hold on to their hot coffee for an entire shift medium size and they would sip on it 30 minutes later they go put it in the microwave heat it back up sip on it 30 minutes later heat it back up rinse and repeat I'm just like, i hate coffee period so i don't understand why anybody fucking drinks it shit stinks look i it tastes like shit i've been i've been telling my wife this because she I, again coffee and energy drinks don't do anything for me i literally drink them mostly energy drinks i drink them for the flavor <laughs> So it tastes like liquid candy. Eh, no surprise. Um, you drink energy drinks too. Shut up. You're just bougie about it the Celsius. Not for the sweetness. <laughs> you like <laughs> fucking C4 Skittles and Starburst. They don't taste like Skittles and Starburst. You shut up. They're all lies. I've tested them. But like coffee, I'm that. I'm the one that will be like, my $5 coffee is now going to be 10 them like caramel syrup caramel syrup caramel syrup fucking child <laughs> put candy in my coffee no sugar though no like direct sugar it's all in the form of other syrups <laughs> <laughs> but i'll add like uh-huh. i'll add all this stuff of like sweet foam cold foam like like yeah so when i get it i'm like hmm, yeah it tastes like candy <laughs> if it oh tastes God. any if it tastes bitter because of coffee I'm just like, it's not that good. I'll still drink it. I'll down it, but I'm like, it's not that good. And my wife's over here. She'll drink like a caramel frappuccino and she'll add a shot of espresso. And she'll be like, you should try this because I don't like it. You don't know that. Maybe your flavors have changed. No, my taste buds have not changed. I promise you. They didn't change two weeks ago when you do this to me and they're not going to change now. I promise you. (laughs) She's like, just try it, please. Let me know if you think it tastes bad. It does taste bad. Stop. Just try it. Fine. Try it. <laughs> tastes like coffee. Yep, so it tastes like shit. She's like, yeah, but does it taste burnt? I don't know. It tastes nasty. Why do you get coffee? Just like the flavor of the syrups. <laughs> and if they could do it with like, like the apple, I think it's called apple crisp macchiato, where there's basically just a shot of espresso in it, and then it's a bunch of syrups to make it taste like an apple pie with oat milk it's mostly oat milk like okay i can do that i don't taste any other coffee i just taste the sugary apple pie oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> diabetes <laughs> yes exactly one heart one heart rate at a time that's all i'm working on <laughs> yeah time i can make that joke no, but I think Stanley Cups are the new one, though. 
for trying to like if you have if oh, the people have multiple Stanley Cups, if I see that especially on TikTok, I'm like, you have way too much disposable income. You have stupid More amounts problems. if you can if you can well, yeah, that's an underlining issue. The mm-hmm. underlining issue. The cause and well, effect of other thing. things aren't, aren't getting paid if you're buying a stupid shit like elephant. I can't pay my phone bill. Linda, you have 20 Stanley Cups. <laughs> yeah, but there's 30 days in a month. I need 10 more. This goes with my blue outfits. This goes with my orange one. This is for my husband. It's camo. So when he goes hunting, if your husband's going hunting with a Stanley Cup, there's some issues here. <laughs> but yes, like that was not a thing for us. We like your cup collection meant nothing. You Unless meant- it was a Pizza Hut or McDonald's cup, then yes, it was the glass was ones. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And you had the glass. But it was. It didn't mean. But- it didn't mean you. You were well off. It just meant. Your mom and dad let you get one, or you somehow paid for it yourself. Yeah. It was more of a, yeah. oh, uh, yeah, I got bees, or I stole it. <laughs> now, it's just not fucked up, but their Stanley thermoses back then were a thing. See, like I don't remember long, long ever. The thermos with the spinoff, spinoff cap to pour, it was normally coffee or whatever, yeah. your hot liquid into. The spinoff cap was, which was a cup. Were those Stanleys? Yeah, my dad. They were had cheap one. as shit then. That they. Because we had a few of them. I don't mind it. I don't know. I know it was fucking hard to dent. That thing was thick as shit and heavy as hell. Not if you took a set so, yeah, to it. Hey, well, okay. I only got I only got my ass whipped once by that. It's fine. Fine. See, I don't, there was a Stanley thermoses back then. Ooh. I mean, the Stanley brand has been around for a long time. Plasma TVs. Yeah, when, that, when those came around, that was a sign of wealth because, one, it was no longer a box TV. And for those of you who think box TVs weren't that bad, try moving that son of a bitch. Try moving that 17-inch TV from one room to another. There's a reason why all of us have amazing thighs right now. We were squatting <laughs> since day one. Uh, but plasmas were a big deal. I do remember that when they came around. I was like, look at this. It's so awesome. It's And the picture quality was still probably the best to this day. And the only problem was the ghost image. The residue mm-hmm. image. And you're like, ah. Uh, burn, burn it. Burn marks, yeah. And you're like, hmm. Did you, did, did you watch Jerry Springer and pause it? No? Why'd you ask? That's Jerry Springer right there. I can see him. <laughs> My favorite was the yeah, Star was... Wars. Plasma or the, the rear projection? Yep. Ones that were gigantic. That's an understatement. They were nice, but they were fucking huge. Yeah. Those were definitely... Like, I, I can think of one person in our tiny little town that had a plasma. Nobody had a rear projection. I don't think anybody did. I'm trying to think of everybody. Not many people in my town, so it's not hard to go through that catalog of people. <laughs> but oh, scooter, rollerblade, or skateboard. If you had a proper, like Tony Hawk skateboard, because mm-hmm. they were kind of expensive. If you had inline versus regular rollerblades. And then when Razor scooters came out, if you actually had Razor, people thought you were a little bit better off. When did Razor come out? Mm. I don't late, remember Razor. Late nineties. It was late nineties because I, I yeah at that point it wasn't even a thing for us. It was the only thing at that point. Because like our scooters were like miniature bike tires. When we, had, when we had scooters. Okay, yeah, so I wanted to thank me. So it was out of banner at high school. But like this is also right around the, the Jinko Jinko jeans and shit like that at work. I wanted the guys to just take the jeans and hang themselves with them. I hated those fucking jeans. They were so ugly. 
looking back now absolutely right but there's a reason why i still want baggy <laughs> there's baggy uh, but then it's like ridiculously baggy. yes yes uh interesting fact the original scooter came out in 1817 of course it did by carl von drosty sauerbron was it a razor though no it's just a scooter okay what was that we were talking about razor scooters, not the original scooter. Yeah, but I went down a rabbit hole, okay? I want to see. You fell on that bitch. Kick scooters came out in 1920. That's the flatboard one that you're talking about with the big tires. They're called okay. kick scooters. So those have been around for 100 years. And when it had a brake on it and everything. Uh, that razor. Scooter. Razors did too, and it took a good chunk of my Achilles. Oh, this was like a hand. It was like a handbrake. I know. Oh, yeah, this was a foot break that wiped me yeah, up because of the donut. Fuck that thing. But no, those. I mean, those were still even two thousand. I mean, I was ten, so those came out. That was a big deal. Game Boys, game console. Yeah. Okay. Portable at that point, too. Yeah, I don't think there oh. was so much. Or double A's. We need more batteries. No, you've already went through a pack this month. You just gotta wait. <laughs> the Pikachu needs my help. Mario Tetris. Tetris was what I played. Oh, God forbid you had a Sega Game Gear. That bitch took nope. six or eight That's batteries. I forget. Were they double A or were they big? Double A's. Double A's. The double A's, really? I thought they were C or D's. The game, the uh, uh, so yeah, heavy. game gear. Oh, they were. They were heavy. Cousin ruined it by putting lotion in the cartridge tray. Don't know why. Is that where it's, That's where it goes. I don't know why he did it. I think. I think like comparative to our children. Our children now growing up and seeing like signs of wealth or maybe surviving a little bit better in today's economy versus our generation of growing up is drastically different because it was minor things for us and definitely now it's more of like does your kid have the latest and greatest cell phone does your kid have the latest and greatest laptop or computer is your kid allowed to be on YouTube or Twitch? Do they have their own iPad? Do they have their own TV in their room? Uh, Stanley Cups, Yeti Cups, when they were a big deal. AirPods, Apple Watches, Apple, yep. shit yep. like that. It's all very much like tech related now. And the only thing in fashion, I can honestly think is like Gucci. Uh, Gucci belts apparently are a big thing right now as well. I don't. Like Gucci that's what? My, my son has Gucci belts. Like all the kids want Gucci belts. I don't know what the fuck you want a Gucci belt for, but like, is does it do anything? Like four hundred fucking dollars. Does it do anything? Bucks. Does it do anything different than the ten dollar belt I picked up? No, it's just, my ten dollar belt is also reversible. <laughs> I got two colors, black and brown, bitch. No, black so and gray. Like, Excuse me, Captain Bushy. But then, like, I don't have anything uh, that my brown belt would go with. Everything's dark colors. Shop, trucker hats are a thing. No, no, hold on. Not wearing them properly is a thing. Of having that two inch gap. Fucking stupid. Motherfucking stupid. Put your hat on your fucking head like it's supposed to be. It doesn't need a lift. True. I agree. I've learned to let shit go with some of it. The gap thing, I don't have. The, I don't have that. The hat that's kind of cocked to the side drives me fucking. That's, like, that's my. Uh, that, that, that's always been. I, I I fucking I can't stand it. It's either straight forward or backwards. Yeah. Like if it goes if it goes sideways, I'll rip the fuck off his head and throw it. I will say so that he's got to cock the side a little bit. When I wear my hat, it's. I don't I don't wear my hat backwards. I don't. Mm -hmm. Um 
I wear Bill Ford, but I will say like if I'm working, if I'm working on the car or attempting to work on the car, and I, ha I will put the hat on backwards because I'm typically like looking under and so I can get my face closer to the actual metal. But even when like I was doing the oil change and I got underneath the car, I realized I had to turn my head and my bill was in the way. So I did have to like tilt it sideways so I can still lay properly and look up. But it's an instant get up, turn it back around, fix it. I don't, I don't have well, I mean, that's, yeah, that's different doing something like that. Like, doing actually, adult right? shit. <laughs> yeah. So that's just like, yeah, shit like that drives me nuts at times. I don't know. Yeah, it's there's a few things. Like, like I don't know, because I'm thinking about my my daughter, and I I will say I think we're really, and when I say we, I mean my wife and I, and I think we're really lucky because my daughter right now doesn't care about that type of stuff. She's more into mm -hmm. can I get all this art supply stuff? Can I get you know paints? Can I get glitter? Mm -hmm. Glitter's a no go now. Uh, now, at an instant. The weekend have to go. Put her all over the fucking floor, all over the floor, big tub. Anyways, and by floor I mean sorry, all over my kids' beds, blankets, and their carpet floor. Still picking up to this day. I'm sure it's still there, yeah, but it's yep. still there. Pissing me off. So their clothes don't get washed with ours at all, and there's a cycle in between to make sure minimum glitter gets put on my clothes. Uh, but she's more about like yeah, art supplies. More today. I am. With some shimmer mist on <laughs> that you can see from Bath and Body Works. Um, she's like, she's not into the, the, even the fashion stuff. If she gets into it or wants anything, it's more of like, I want this dress because like her latest dress that she wants. And uh, we'll probably get her this, this week since it's starting to warm up is she wants this Pokemon dress. And it's just, it just has Pikachu and Eevee on it because she's getting she really likes Pikachu and Eevee. She doesn't give a shit about Pokemon. She just likes Pikachu and Eevee. So, a little annoyed by that. Like, you either dive into the fandom or you piss off. And we'll just dip our toes with two of the most popular characters. Uh, but she, like, she wants that type of stuff. Or she wants the Stitch dress that we saw. Uh, and then come Halloween, you know, it's it's all Disney based basically or Pokemon. But it's not name brand. But we also shop at like Target and Amazon. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what's name brand at Target now that I think about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's name brand at Target? Other than Box. Nike. Other than Nike, yeah. Box, Adidas. Yeah. Name brand. Duluth. Yeah. What? To Jean. Duluth? Yeah. Are they in Target? Yeah. Oh, okay. Haynes, Fruit of the Loom. Look, they're, they're, they're everywhere. Listen, <laughs> there's also, we'll do a whole different episode of like name brand versus off brand. Well, I got opinions on that. <laughs> <laughs> got strong opinion, opinions on that but <laughs> i i think it's so it's drastically different for like grant we we barely listed anything off for what would have been a sign of wealth for us growing up for these kids nowadays it's it's all tech related gucci yeah, too. Uh, yeah, product uh, there we go that's the other one so much there's a lot of high-end I mean, there's, yeah, there's a well, really, Louis Vuitton product. for Lululemon. Yeah, Lululemon is a, I mean, that's, that's high end, but it's, it's almost lower. Like it's, it's affordable high end, but it's, I'm trying to say it, but it's not making sense. It's, it's, it's high end, high, but it's like high low end, tier but, high end. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like so for the nerds like, where it's like uncommon, common, rare. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like uncommon. It's on. It's just, yeah. it's your entry level to luxury. Yeah. It's it's your it's your yeah exactly. Which but by we, the way, kids should not be wearing Lululemon. Just just saying. 
there's a lot of things that Cook shouldn't be wearing, but yeah, be another episode. Yep, yep. But it's like I don't know. I that's that's the problem too. Is like the high end stuff now, and maybe it's because we've been through so much. But when I think high end, growing up, it was literally anything. You know, right around a hundred, sixty to a hundred dollars. If it was yeah. above one hundred and fifty, that was expensive. Like it was, like we ain't getting this because it's too fucking much money. Uh, yeah. Nowadays, it's like hundred dollars, whatever. Two hundred dollars. Oh yeah, we can get that. We'll make it work. It doesn't start getting ridiculous until you cross that right around that five hundred dollar point. And for clothes, it's right around the two fifty, three hundred. We're like, it's only a hundred dollars. You know what else? I can get 10 pairs. Okay, that's not true. I can get three pairs of blue jeans boot cut at Target for $100. Okay. And guess how long those fuckers are going to last me? Years. Years. How long is your Prada pants going to wear? Your Gucci belt? Somebody going to steal it from you? Because guess what? No one's going to steal these Target jeans off me. <laughs> I mean... Look, if you want to sure. toss hands for my Target pants, I may let you have a go at it. But just understand, I'm going to make it a very weird interaction for the two of us. There is no shame in me. If you don't believe me, it's, go back to the vasectomy episode. And you'll hear all about the no shame. <laughs> now, if my underwear comes off, that's on you. You better finish what you started. That's all I'm saying. Toss me a 20 afterwards. <laughs> Twenty's twenty. Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, before we get too too descriptive, make sure to check us out on Thursdays. We play Call of Duty. I may stop playing with you. I don't know. Twenty dollars is twenty dollars. We'll see. Well, speaking Thursdays though, uh, twenty dollars is twenty dollars. We can That's use that sure. twenty dollars for Z League. Now that Call of Duty is officially back with Z League, oh, yes. the API works. I that could be wrong. We are going. I'm gonna force him if he doesn't force me. Either which way, this somebody's being forced to do something we don't want to do. Twenty is twenty. Twenty is twenty. Hell, five is a five. It's fine. <laughs> now hell, we dropped it to five. Okay. There's some activities that five is quick. It's easy. But Z League, is, and we're not sponsored. We're not promoted by them at all. But it's a tournament where we can earn potential money or something. We haven't been able to do it because the moment we tried, API got disabled. And Call of Duty wasn't on the list, so uh, we will be doing that Thursday. So definitely check it out. Yeah, you can keep going. Yep. I want to just mention Z League before I forgot. No, just make sure you check us out Thursdays. We uh, enjoy time playing Call of Duty. I'm on Twitch, six over on YouTube, Facebook, Kick, Twitch. You said Twitch. If there's something else out there, he can, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Kick, Twitch. I'm on Twitch. Uh, but yeah, that's where we are on Thursdays. You have anything else to say, Pumpkin? You got 20? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Bye, bitch. Fucking...